So basically, hello everybody. I'm Rob Chapman. I'm the captain. And you're at Anderton's Don Curtis UK. And um, I was walking towards the shop to get a flappy J with my buddy Beazel. <laughs> and he went, you know what? Why don't we do semi versus... Solid. Solid. I was waiting for you to do that. Sorry. We'll do it again. Semi versus solid. And uh, I went, that's a great idea. Really. That is a great we idea. We should definitely do that, especially since Chapman are bringing to market soon a limited edition or special edition semi hollow guitar with Guitar Center. Are they? Uh, yes. Oh, yes, no, they are. And um, so I wondered, could I tell the difference and could Lee tell the difference? Well, and then I said, well, it's no good if we actually play them because if, as soon as somebody sticks a 335 in your lap versus a Les Paul, you are immediately, before you've strummed anything, going to know that you've got a much bigger guitar in your lap. So, of course, the conclusion was that we would ask uh, Rabir from the guitars. <laughs> and, and now, I'm assuming it is Rabir sitting there. Well, yeah, I, I, just, I just hit him by accident. Uh, and, uh, and we have to, to just tell from the sound. Mm. Uh, so play along, everybody, if you want to just turn your monitor off or, or you know, um, gouge both your eyes out with a bunch of player of scissors. I don't recommend that. I uh, know. Out to file, Jenny, uh, where is thy lust now? And I think, if I remember rightly as well, we have expanded the shootout. So it's semi versus solid versus full hollow, I mm -hmm. think, isn't it? Right. That's correct. Three and of we, each. Three of each. So less wood each turn. Yeah. But there's no, there's no order, obviously, so you won't have any idea. Or is course. there? Or is there? I well, thought you said could that the be. first two were solid and the second. What was yeah. the script? Um, line? Line. 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 <laughs> yeah. uh, so, so it might be worth it might be worth grabbing the whiteboard, having a quick zoom in, so you guys can see if you don't want to play along, you can see what we're dealing right. with. Do you know what I think would be a fun concept for Provided by as well? The beautiful Joss. For me to be blindfold but still in charge of the whiteboard. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see, we've got all the different guitars down the left hand side, and we've written a little initial next to them so you guys can work out what they are. And then we have three columns. You've got your S H, your H and your S. And then we will initial who thought what was what this is in already, these This columns. is already great. We should do more stuff we're both blindfoldedly. And that's basically how it's going to work. Joss is going to keep uh, tally, and then we're going to find out what happens tally in the end. Right. right. Good. Find out. I love it. Let's find out what happens in the end. There is one more stipulation, and that is that when I'm plugging each guitar in, we're going to have to make a lot of noise. <laughs> because you will hear the difference of the jack being plugged into what guitar. You will, because you'll hear that oh, ringing hollow. You ringing certainly ringing. will. Right. This is, this is that whenever I do a blindfold video, people will always go, ah, oh, Rob would have heard the... And then some unbelievably obscure thing that might happen when you plug a something in. And I'm just like, he definitely doesn't, but there you go. I'm going to have to be really careful oh. not to knock these guitars when I pick them up. That's true. As well. So let's just hope for the best, right? I also See had a really, can... really in-depth conversation with a highly advanced audio technician who confirmed that tone wood makes a difference, or wood makes a difference to the sound you hear from an electric guitar, and told me exactly why and what to listen to. So I'm going to use this knowledge and hope it works. I, I can feel the air pressure movements as Rabir picks up <laughs> different sized guitars. I could even tell you if it was a flying V just from the way the the uh, the, the wave of air yeah. would be. We uh, we're using a Hot Rod Deluxe. Aha! I told you. Right. Yeah. So we got the clean, and then I'm running a Klon replica uh, for my like crunchy tones, and then I've got the uh, the uh, JHS AT for my high gain tones. There and you go. A... And the first guitar, oh. black guitar lead. <laughs> How did you know? I could. See anyway, that. guitar number one. So make some noise while I plug it in. Woo! <laughs> Alrighty, so here we Hang go. On. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. I have a request. 
Could you play one long held note around the middle of the fretboard on the G string? Yeah, I can do that for you. With, with gain or without gain? With the gainage. All right then. Uh, okay, so I on the count of three, a hundred percent. I know definitely a guitar. Right. <laughs> uh, Lee, mm. uh, I've got an idea. I'm mm. sure you have an idea. Should we, on the count of three, tell them what we think our idea is? I haven't got a clue. <laughs> okay. All right. I, do you know? I, okay. Three, two, one. Sally Hollow. <laughs> Who said what? So Rob said I said semi -hollow. hollow. He said solid. The only thing I know, the only thing I'm relatively sure it isn't, is full hollow. So I just, I the rest of it is sauce so, of a coin. So were you going to say because of the amount of feedback and sustain that happens, that's how you worked out that there was more resonance in it, and so on? Are you and so asking forth. me? I am asking you. Okay, so because I've got one to boomerang on that. Right, my theory <laughs> to boomerang. Yeah, to bring it back round. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. My, um, my theory is that it's slightly warmer than I would expect a normal solid guitar to be because there is less absorption of frequency from the materials in the system uh, allowing, allowing a fuller frequency response to be kept and passed from the strings to the pickups. And I also feel that the way it's sustained with feedback was was very very semi hollow in, in in its form. So so I just should point out that by that I'm stacking the two gain pedals on top of each other for extra compression, so that that kind of feedback happens almost on any situation there. Uh, but I that's why think, I did that. I think I think it's a different like to do that. quality of feedback. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, we're Just moving on. Who okay. Said what? Rob said semi hollow. I said semi. I said solid. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Moving on. Make wait, some wait, wait. Noise. You didn't ask Lee what his reasoning was. Lee, what's your reasoning? I, I've, I'm not here for my, you know, expertise. I'm just here to pay for lunch and for the eye candy, aren't I? I mean, I just, <laughs> I've, I've no, I, I honestly, all I couldn't hear was any evidence that it had that very hollow sound that you get from a hollow guitar. Uh, other than that, it just sounded like a guitar to me, with humbuckers on it. I did, however, think it had uh, a sunburst finish. I'm putting that one out there. I should add that all the guitars have humbuckers. Well, there you go, you see. I so knew, you think it's sunburst. <laughs> I, okay, I'm gonna say that it is. <laughs> Green. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next guitar, make some noise, please. Okay. I'm ready. This is the next guitar. You ready, chaps? Yeah. You ready, chaps? Okay, we go. I've just gesticulated to the camera my particular preference of choice. So, so I, I, th I think it is, it is a, a full-on chubby. We <laughs> should do the three, two, one count then and we both okay. say at the same time. Three, three two, two, one. one. Solid. hollow. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a solid. Why? Because it's brighter than my previous, which I thought was certainly hollow. It just it sounded like it sounded like okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna say things that people are gonna get really annoyed about. <laughs> it sounded like it had a maple top. 
I think it sounded like it had a Bigsby tremolo system on it. I think it sounded like it had. Nah, mate. It, it didn't. It sounded like it had. <laughs> nah, a, it sounded like it had some sort of tremolo system on it that meant that it was just a little bit more jangly sounding no. than a than a than when it's a fixed bridge. That sounded like a like PRS it. with a uh, like a, a maple top to it. I'm enjoying the sort of competitive edge going on as well. Like, no, nah, you're wrong, it. mate. You're wrong. I haven't got a clue. Okay. Uh, <laughs> semi hollow and definitely. Um, if I just say semi hollow to every single one, I'm going to get three right. The, right, the law of the law of averages <laughs> dictates that. You, uh, I reckon. That was uh, that was definitely. Okay, Lee, what brand of guitar? Um, I reckon it's blue PRS. Gretsch, <laughs> center block, and it would have been a sparkly, uh, like a sparkly <laughs> blue color. <laughs> Okay, so Rob said solid, and Lee said semi hollow. I did say semi. -hollow. Okay, let's. We've got a lot to get through, so yeah, let's sorry. move on. Let's You're make right. some sorry, noise. But we're we really enjoying it. Put your fingers in your ears. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Tell you my reasoning. We should, should we do the three, two, one again? Yeah. Well, that, that was a bit pointless. You've said it now, but I was going to say solid as well. Okay. What's your reason for saying solid? Because you said. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. Um, uh, because it just sounded solid. <laughs> I mean, it, I I can honestly tell you now that that that, that um, I I'm really really struggling to be able to put anything down as to how the guitar sounds to how it's constructed uh, they do they all sound different but i'm okay. really struggling let me guide you to Go my on. reasoning okay guide me what do those pickups sound like to you lee um humbuckers but what but like what kind of humbucker uh old-fashioned like paf type right i thought they sounded like like Duncan's or something high powered, like proper gunning it. Oh really? Like it, it had that kind of like a Demasio y Duncan y kind of like it's going for it rock kind of vibe. And I don't think you put that in a semi hollow. No, you're probably right. So Is from, there anything I could do in the plane? Okay, just play a clean, yes. could you clean put it in a G middle chord. A middle pickup position middle and back pick off position. the volume a bit. Clean okay. G chord. It, well, clean clean G. If we I just should say clean for, G. for Ken, we can't ask Rabir to turn it down to the point where we might be able to hear the actual guitar ringing because that that is There's not much choice of that. The biggest giveaway. So just make sure it's at least loud enough that could you that tap it, it with your hand really loudly? Okay, yeah. here we go. No, okay, I'm going to play a G chord for you. Here yeah, we go. Play a G chord. <laughs> Yeah, that's really that's really throwing and, me because that was a beautiful, warm, ringing warm. type thing. It's got thing. that kind of solid, semi-hollow, hollow. hollow okay, um, now, now absolutely, <laughs> absolutely <laughs> gun it and hit, hit a big power chord and squealy leads. <laughs> that that is that is a Seymour Duncan type of path. And it's way overpowered for a semi-hollow. So I think it's a solid, and that's my reason. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm just going to agree with Rob. Uh, <laughs> I hope that you at home are doing this blindfolded too and answering. In fact, you should just literally start a comment now and just type in. Well, you won't be able to see it, will you, what you're typing in the comments? <laughs> <laughs> well, well it, it might be fun to Write type anyway down. and see what you end up with. Write it yeah. down on a bit of paper and then... And then, and then um, 
and then put those comments in at the end. Okay, moving on to guitar number four. Make some noise, please, chaps. <laughs> right, um, next guitar. Here we go, chaps. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hollow. Oh, that's solid. I don't know. I'm really on the fence. What, what, I want to know what the pickups are, but that, I can't quite. Work They're all that. humbuckers, man. Yeah, but like, I mean, what they are, like, they're they're not really high output. They just sound a bit different. Play, play again. Play a bit. Play a bit lead. Sounded, they better sounded lead. Sort of hollow. <laughs> better lead. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm just going to have to take the plastic that? off like the... Uh... Oh, right, that make, that make, this will like make a big difference. We're going to be safe. Could you hold a G-string note around the middle of the guitar, please? Okay, three, two, one, Sammy hollow. hollow. You, you said hollow. I said hollow. I said Sammy I hollow. I said sleepy hollow. I also will assert that you're right. I don't think Rabia likes this one. Yeah. That and that. Although, you know what? Various things. Using my uh, Sherlock Holmes style method of, you know, uh, what, is, what, what method did he have? <laughs> Where he, he discounts <laughs> certain factors as he's sort of trying process to... Process of elimination. Process of elimination. Yeah. The sound led me to believe it was hollow... And then, by the sounds of things, Rabir wasn't really enjoying playing that one. Elementary. So it's hollow. Elementary, my dear Watson. Um, yeah, I reckon semi-hollow. I don't know what it is. I'm going hollow. All I know is it was a Choose better. a colour. Uh, blue? I don't know. Could be blue. Okay. It feel, I think it was a... Teal. Uh, <laughs> I think it was a... Uh, I think Azure. that was... Uh, I think that was like a walnutty colour. Azure. Yes, uh, I don't think. Yeah, I don't know what it was. Onward movement. On onward. onward. Let's have a movement. Onward okay, make soldiers. some noise, gents. <laughs> okay. Here we are. Do it, bees. Has Is anyone somebody, worked out in the comments section? Are you section still writing stuff down? What the We're obsession writing. with? <laughs> I like to do that. Please. What is the obsession with that? Okay. Anyway, here we go. Next guitar. <laughs> To me, it was almost like Rabia told us what it was with the playing. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Don't you ever, like, psychologically, when you pick up a certain vibe of a guitar, mm. you play it in a certain way because that's the way that fits with the vision of what you believe it's going to speak? So for me, it was, it was 
pretty obvious what it was. That was very philosophical, man. Yeah, it yeah, was. Man. I can play the same riff that I know on every guitar. I've ever <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. But uh, I aspire to, to, to not. Okay, three, two, one. Hollow. Semi hollow. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm just... What makes you say that, man? Well, it's pr you make your mouth in a certain shape and the word ho becomes... <laughs> 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 the rest of it. <laughs> Do you want me to do anything else playing wise that could indicate what it is exactly? You, you could you hear? could you back off the volume a little bit? Uh, but just just not not too much, just a hair. Okay. A hair. Arr. It's just really warm. A bit louder. That's it. I'm going, you know what? I'm literally going, first chord that comes out, the, my brain goes bat, and then I'm staying with that. That's all, because the more Rabir plays after that, the more confused I become and have no idea what it is. So I'm relying on my first instinct every time to just go, boom! Do you want some sustain, Rob, or are you, are you good? Uh, yeah, could you sustain a G-string? Like? Semi-hollow, cool. I think. Here we go. <laughs> Totally, totally different feedback. That is not a hollow guitar. I, I absolutely effed up. Because what you get with a, with a semi-hollow, or in my opinion, what you get with a semi or a hollow, is you get that rounded, the same note goes through and becomes feedback. Whereas that was like, it was coming around the edges, trying to turn it into it, but it couldn't. I'm completely changing my decision. Are you allowed? Am I allowed to change my decision? Well, what was your original decision? Hollow. hollow. And what are you saying it is now? Solid. Wow, extreme. Well, because a hollow guitar would not feedback like that. I don't know. I think you're making it all up. I think it's just... making it up. <laughs> There's no way. There's no. Okay, we'll absolutely. give you that. God, you're allowed no, to no, change. You, you should, can change I your think mind. You should change you know your what? mind. Absolutely. That's that's fine. Okay, if, he's going. He's going solid. No, no, you should change if you're okay. if you believe it's a solid guitar. Well, I'm just saying a, a yeah. hollow guitar. I mean, I played thousands through like game because yeah. it's me, <laughs> and they never feedback like right, that. If I'm wrong, I'm the wrongest person ever. Okay, next guitar, make some noise, please, gents. Bring on the new guitar, bring on the new guitar. Bring on the new guitar, bring it on. What number's this? This is. Just asking. Six. Oh my god, we've still got four more to go. This and three more. Lee, the viewers are really enjoying this. No, it's good, it's good. Here we go. Okay, do it. I think hollow again. I'm using my feedback reasoning. Yeah. Uh, you know it. what? It's much harder to tell on the bridge pickup and yeah. easier to tell on the neck pickup. Does it make a difference that when I was ringing that G string, I was moving the guitar around? Mm, I didn't Not know. Really. I can't see. I'm blind. You know how like when you move the guitar around a bit and you can like <laughs> provoke feedback. Provoke it. Yeah, I know what you mean. No, not really. Influence it's just that it was feedback. really deep and woody, <laughs> and um... invoke it or provoke it. I'd say provoke. You know, really? like give it some, give it a bit you're of beef. Just, you're, just, you're, you're just prodding it. Yeah, just you know what it had? It had that kind of slightly you. breathy like quality on every note that was going yeah. on. On the bridge pick, on the neck pickup. I was quite surprised at how easy he found to play it too. Yeah, me. that's yeah. what threw me. And then all of a sudden yeah. he started rip tearing it up, and I was like, "So no, okay, so what I'm guitars? Still it's hollow. What guitars are really easy to play and hollow? And hollow." <laughs> Um, Gretches, Duesenbergs. They're all humbuckers, right? No P90s. 
all humbuckers. So it's not you've not got a casino or anything in there just to sort of throw me. Uh, it's got. It's either got to be a Gretsch or a doozy, then, doesn't it? I reckon probably a Gretsch. Didn't even think about Duesenbergs. Well, yeah. I mean, they do. They do hollows, don't they? Yeah. I'm going to say Gretsch. It's a black Gretsch. I would actually, I should actually, I'm being waved at that I should tell you that this guitar has a humbucker and a P90 in it. It's a Duesenberg. Good shout. I think they're the only ones we sell with humbuckers and P90s. <laughs> that's, not, that's not strictly true. Is it not? All right, well, look, I'm still sticking with hollow. Uh, yeah, I'm and, going hollow too. I'm um, saying it's a black Gretsch. Which means I don't think Duesenberg make any completely hollow body guitars. I think they're all center block guitars. But oh, anyway... Whatever, you, 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 it's fair enough. You know what, though? I should say the, uh, the neck pickup on that guitar, which I'm assuming will be the P90, sounded very different to the bridge, which would explain why. And that's why I think it's, it's a hollow guitar. But now I don't even know because I can't think of any guitars with a P90 and a humbucker that are hollow. But whatever, I'm st that's what I said. So that's what I'm staying with. Okay. Let's move on. Moving on. Make some noise. Make some noise. Okay. Let me hear it. Here we go. You ready? Three, two, what? <laughs> I don't know what they've done. No. Are Here they we go. doing something bad? Probably. No. Here we go. Here's some That's guitar. Sick. Yeah. I just can I have a big clean G chord on the bridge pickup and then a big clean G chord on the neck pickup, please. Yep, bridge. <laughs> Didn't help. <laughs> I, I haven't got a clue. I'm okay, so three, two, one, solid. solid. You both say, what did you say? Uh, both said solid. Oh, okay. No, I, I'm. Can I just? I'm only saying that because I haven't said solid for can a while. Can I give? Can I give a halfway answer? Yeah. Mm. Between solid and semi hollow, because I think it's a semi semi. I think it's, I think it's. My answer is it sounds kind of in between the two. Well, it's got to be one or the other. Well, I'm saying it sounds more like a solid, but I but there are qualities of it that sounded like a semi hollow, but I don't I don't maybe it's like an affordable one or something so it's a bit more maybe it's one of those ones that that might be the, got. maybe it's one of those ones where only one half of the guitar is is semi hollow you, oh, you know where you get one where it's almost like the the semi nature of it is just for um aesthetics rather than that is an absolute shout <clears throat> um so what do you call that then semi hollow what kind of guitar is like that for the uh, viewers that may not know what you're talking about? There are some Telecasters where the F hole is only on one side of the body, so it's like complete. an Esquire. Is that uh, it? no? But but um, is the thin line? Thin has line. that got? Yeah, thin that has line. just got one F hole, hasn't it? So that so the, the whole. Right, anyway. well, I'm, I'm going to go with that then. That's what I think it is. I think it's like a, a, a semi semi hollow. Mm. All right, <laughs> semi semi hollow. Yeah. <laughs> semi yeah. semi semi. Because the feedback sounded like yeah. it had a hollow resonant quality to it, but. But then it sounded like a solid guitar, so I'm going to say. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I, I'll I'll stay with solid just because I haven't said solid that much. Okay, moving on. Make some noise. Uh, what was the so solid crew song? I think that would be appropriate. Uh, I got 21, Twenty-one seconds to go. I got twenty-one seconds to go. If you really want to know, you're going to twenty-one seconds. Twenty-one seconds. Okay. Up. We're ready. Is this the last one? No, we got okay. one more after oh this. Oh my god! Here we go. You ready?
noticed that was very systematic playing for the nature of this video. Three. Hang on, can I get uh, the same big G clean chord Two. on a, the, the bridge and the neck again, just? Yeah, one last time, yeah. bridge. Semi -hollow. semi hollow. Yeah, I was going to say semi hollow. I mean, it, it it didn't sound like it was very easy to play. It sounded it sounded like it very low output again. There wasn't much pushing. The, the, yeah, the, the pickups the, the, didn't the sound like they were designed to be yeah. like gunned yeah. like a solid guitar. So I think you're right. I think semi hollow. Okay. What brand, Lee? Uh, that was an Epiphone. Right. Epiphone. And it was uh, and it was red. Okay. I'm going to say that was a black. Um, uh, guitar. <laughs> it was actually yeah. quite easy to play. I just played really badly. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. It felt yeah. nice. Don't it get me wrong. It played. It, it, it felt nice. Yeah, it felt oh, nice. Probably a PRS then, huh? Okay. Um, anyway, so let's move on to the last one. Let's move on to the last one. Let's okay, make some noise. Let's make some Yes. Oh, I got 21 to go. I got 21 to go. Last guitar. Are you ready, gentlemen? No. Here we go. Little bit out of tune. It's a little bit, it's a little bit running. I wonder if it's a Gibson. <laughs> To feed back all the time. I'm saying hollow. I, I'm going with what my brain very, very first told me to say, which is where the conviction lies. Your brain is a liar. Lee. That's true. Um, so you're saying because it was dying to feed back all the time. It just felt that? like it was on the edge of feeding back, and when he just gave it the chance, he went, "Okay, feed back, thank it you." It sounded like a, a, a solid body Gretsch with a Bigsby again. <laughs> uh, In uh, black. I reckon it's a hollow. It's either one of those Gibson ES jobs, or it's. Um, uh, or something like that. Or something like that. Something like that. Right. Okay, make some noise while I put the guitar down and then we'll reveal. Hey, hey okay, I'll make some noise. So what I think is a good idea is for one of you to sit on my stool. I will mm. leave. You've got this whiteboard. You can turn around and look at all the guitars. Do you want to okay. help? Oh! oh, eyes oh. adjust. It's rotten, isn't it? God there, isn't damn. It? Okay. I my, my spectacles? So, uh, yeah, where are your specs? Where did you leave your glasses? Probably downstairs, I expect. Oh, in your they're pocket. in my pocket. They're in my pocket. <laughs> okay, so the oh, guitar we number... To Rob's, uh, oh. So the guitar oh. number one is a semi-hollow oh, reverend. Oh, it's a reverend. Uh, which uh, you said, Rob, that it was semi-hollow, and I said it was solid. Oh, it's one of those half-hollows. It's a half-hollow. That's what I was talking about. I don't know. So it yeah, is, is routed this side, but it's got one F-hole. I don't think it's any, it'll only be routed underneath the control cavity. I think it's probably... Anyway, so uh, point to Rob. Well done, Rob. Yay me. Uh, next one uh, is a PRS Custom 24, <laughs> um, uh, which I said was semi-hollow and Rob said was solid. So you there we are. It sounded like said, it had a maple cap on it. Really? You yeah. actually said it's a PRS with a maple top. Right, okay. <laughs> I'm not here. <laughs> Anyway, okay, so a Charvel, which is a solid, and we both uh -huh. said it was solid, and Rob said it sounds like Seymour. He said it sounds like Seymour Duncan. No way. Yeah. <laughs> but it did, you, though. You have to somehow recreate these in your local guitar store or at home or whatever. But it did. I cannot hear what Rob hears. I well, do not hear what you I'll tell you hear. what though, mate, if you add up the number of hours I've shredded on Seymour Duncan's in my bedroom as a, as a teenager. Has Rob, Rob got every single one right so far? 
Oh my God, this is so depressing. Okay, so <laughs> the next one is a Squire semi-hollow that Rob has said is a semi-hollow and I've said it's hollow. And the pickups just squeal, does that say? No, Rob said the pickups just sound different. Oh, yeah, so what are different. they then? Because they did sound different. Those are those weird, what, are they called wide frequency humbuckers or something right. like that? Right. Yeah, wide range, wide range humbuckers. No, 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 but because but, I was like, I didn't have a clue what these pickups were. That's why I was in my head I was going, what are the pickups? What are the pickups? Because they don't sound like anything else. I don't believe this. <laughs> Literally, Rob's got like. So, okay, so so far, Rob is winning 4 0. Is that Lee's Les Paul? Rob is winning 4 0. So, Les Paul, which I said was semi hollow, and Rob said is solid. So, there we go. But he changed his mind from semi, uh, changed his mind from hollow. Because of the feedback. Of the feedback. Yeah. 5 0 to Rob. It's just as well we never actually bet anything of any then, consequence on this, isn't it? <laughs> so Duesenberg, yeah. is this this is where we both said it's sem, it's a semi hollow, but it's is this a real true hollow? No, this isn't true hollow. According to Pete's. Oh no. Pete's tap the hollow. tap the back where the pickups are mounted. No, there's there's a there's a block in the middle, yeah, but it's hollow either side. It is a centre block guitar. Yes. You should be able to see through the F hole whether it's a centre yeah, block. Yeah, you can see a block. Yeah. So in actual fact then this isn't a hollow, it's a semi hollow, and we're both correct. Boof. Yeah, Lee. Gretsch, uh, which uh, I said it were well, Greg. Uh, Greg? Who's Greg? <laughs> uh, Gretsch. Uh, Rob, what was so started? Both, so you both said solid. And then Rob changed his mind to. Rob said that it sounds like halfway between a solid and Oh, I see. So this is the Gretsch, is it? Oh, that's really light, huh? Um, and that is a semi hollow, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so has that got a centre block? Yeah, but it, it's not. It's not a traditional shaped centre block. Look at that. It's really light. They've, they've carved around it and stuff. That's mostly, ho mostly hollow. Yeah, we I assumed think. it was hollow. I mean, it's pretty much... But you can, see that you can see the block down the centre. It's just obviously... Maybe it's chambered out. I don't know. Maybe they're, maybe they're struts rather than... So, so will we will be right or wrong on that one? I think, still think that's a centre block guitar, but either way, uh, we both said it was solid. So whether it's semi-solid or completely hollow, right. we're both wrong. <clears throat> My God, that's the only one, Rob, that Do you've got wrong so far. Don't. Uh, PRS single cut, semi-hollow, that we both get right, which is this one here. Do you want to grab that one? <clears throat> nice. I've scored one. Yippee. Um, and then the final one, and what did Rob say about that? Dying, uh, dying to feedback. Dying to dying. feedback. And he said some sort oh, of Gibson. Mate, you were right, I had a big spoon. Some sort of Gibson <laughs> ES job. Right. I think I did, in fairness, say the last one had a big spoon, didn't I? You could hear uh, that big spoon tone, uh, didn't you? I'm so not redeeming myself, but again, Rob said it was hollow. I said it was solid, and it is, in fact, semi hollow. Um, this one's really nice. Uh, so, yes, I think potentially. I'm not entirely sure we had the selection of completely hollow guitars that you thought we had. Uh, but nonetheless... Uh, so we were guessing for something that wasn't ever there. Uh, the o I, I'm not entirely sure what we've got here that's true... Try that one, mate. You'd love that. I'm that's not sure we've really got nice. any guitars here that are actually true hollow. <laughs> but there we are. Um, what am I trying? Give me that green one. Try that, try that PRS. It's really nice. Yeah, I mean, of course, now I can see them all. I know exactly whether they're solid or semi-hollow, you know, so... Uh. I mean, that's, that's all that counts, really. Once you've got all your faculties around you, then... Uh, so there we go. Rob Chapman, you win uh, one, two, three. I think you got uh, one, two... This is unbelievable. Six. Um, but uh, I had a... Seven. Uh, I'm not sure we that that one is definitely semi. -hollow. I think you win seven one. I ha thank you. <laughs> I, I had a methodology for, for guessing. I don't know how you do it, man. The feedback sound, and and also what kind of pickups was in it? Because if it's like gunning it like ready to scream and shred pickups, they're not going to put that in a semi hollow, are they? I think I was obviously not thinking. I, I was just thinking at a very superficial level, to be honest with you. Of um, I was just hearing a chord and going. 
the first thing that comes into my mind is this word. I feel better though because <laughs> on the last video I thought I'd totally lost it. Well, that was it. Which the the, um, uh, the amps versus it, pedal type yeah. video. Yeah, that was. That so was, it's interesting. Your your guitar, your ability to um, identify guitars. Yeah. Is you you seem to be much more tuned into that than necessarily with amps. I've got clear about amps, have I? Yeah, amps. Yeah. And, but they were interesting. Anyway. Um, Thank you so much to uh, you, the viewer, for watching and, and for the crew you, for putting, you know, getting all these guitars up. And if you come up with any other ideas like Sammy or, or, or Solid, mm. that, and I can say them, then that's a good idea. Tell us. Shemmy, Shemmy or Solid? Is this or, the, the Sean Connery? This uh, is my jet lag like finally Shemmy taking or hold of my brain. Challenge. <laughs> <laughs> you want a round of golf? Mesh money penny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, bye. Uh, bye. <laughs> Boom. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Andertons Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.